Lost in English. Written by Tom Piffer. Illustrated by Xiangyi Mo and Jean Gwen Wang. Everything was new for nine year old Alejandro. Today he was going to a new school in a new city in a new country. It was the first day of the school year and he should have been excited, but he was not. He was scared, very scared. He was scared because he couldn't speak English. He knew how to say the words good morning, dog, and cat. But beyond that, he was lost. His father stopped the car in front of the school. Here are the papers you will need, he said to Alejandro in Spanish. Go to the office and give them to the school principal. He will help you. I'm sorry to have to leave you like this, my son, but I have to get to work before nine o'clock. Alejandro got out of the car very slowly. I wish Papa could come in with me, he thought, but he said, Okay, Papa. I can do it by myself. Alejandro waved his father goodbye and walked slowly up to the large brick building. The words over the doors read Parkland Elementary School. Alejandro walked into the large hallway. It was full of students greeting each other and hurrying to class. On the left he saw a door. The sign beside the door had the word office written on it. Ah, oficina! Alejandro thought. That is where I must go with my papers. Inside the office, three people were working at their computers. I wonder if one of these is the principal, Alejandro thought. He walked up to the counter and waited. Soon, a woman looked up from her computer and came over. Can I help you? she asked, with a smile. Alejandro said, good morning, and handed her his papers. The woman read through the papers carefully. Name, Alejandro Martinez. Parents, Alejandro and Maria Martinez. Address, 65 Green Avenue. Home language, Spanish. Health, no health problems we need to know about. Alejandro waited. He was still feeling very scared. When the woman had finished reading, she said, Come with me, Alejandro. The principal is busy, so I'll take you to your new classroom. Your teacher will be Mrs. Cat. Alejandro was pleased to hear the word cat because he knew what a cat was. But he was not sure what a cat was doing at school. Alejandro